Hey everybody, welcome to Don't Do What Steve Does. I've got an idea today that's so crazy, I just had to bring someone with me. We are going to go camping in an abandoned mine. So, with no further ado, let's get hiking. And this is the part everybody's going to skip over until we get to the mine. So I'll keep it short. Uh, it is bear and cougar and wolf country. So, yeah, we're packing our bear sprays um, and hoping for the best. So, looks like we're about a third of the way there. It's probably a total of two and a half kilometers, maybe three kilometers in, which in miles, what would you think that would be, crazy neighbor? Uh, let's see, 1.6 kilometers per mile. So, uh, three kilometers would be a little over two miles. Well, that was a little bit of elevation gain there, and now it gets, looks like a lot more elevation gain there. What do you think about elevation gain, crazy neighbor? I'm not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. These woods, loaded with bears, guaranteed. You can tell just from the way they look. The actual road ends here, and it's off on a little trail. We're gonna have a good conversation here, in case there is any bears, then we can let them know we're in the area by talking loudly. Huh? Hey bears! <laughs> How's it going? Oh yeah, you just know there's a bunch in there. Cougars, wolves, the whole bit. It's the real deal, guys. I can hear those mosquitoes pretty clearly. Yeah, me too. Just a little too late for fiddleheads here. Um, I said I wouldn't stretch this part out too long. Let's go. Oh, this just keeps going. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for a bit. Yep, good idea. Oh boy. Litter on the trail. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. We just gotta get to the end of this big tree. And I think the worst of it's over now. Yeah, I think so too. So, just like a flight or two of stairs. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, some of these are a little loose. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the most serious hike I probably have ever done. That was every bit as hard as I thought it would be. Yeah, well, we made it. <laughs> yeah, they say on all trails that one is easy to moderate. Uh-huh. I'll go with moderate. Okay, we've got our lights. And uh, as always, uh, this is not an example of something to do. Never go into an abandoned mine. Um, I can't explain why we're doing it, but let's do it. Okay, here we go. second level up there. Mm. 
I see a board like that, I just assume it's covering up a shaft. Yeah. So those are dangers of the mines. Um, that is, it's plate steel, so definitely there's a shaft under there. For sure. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, it gets pretty dry in here. Two of us, that's for sure. to sleep in there so we've got to really kind of figure something out yes. because I'm not hiking all the way back down there today <laughs> and no, we'll figure out something. that we will it's not a lot of level ground I want to roll off the hill but uh, okay it's time for stuff too. Yeah, there is nice ventilation coming through the mine so I know it's good for air I'm not worried about that uh, cheers cheers Steve to a treacherous hike. 
Our only hope of camping in the mine uh, is if it's dry on the upper level up there. I know there was a way inside with a little rope and a ladder. I'm not doing that. Um, but up there, it looks like a little bit more of some treacherous trail there. And I think I can see another entrance up there. I don't know for sure. Uh, online, I can't see uh, any pictures of that. So uh, that's another hazard of camping in an abandoned mine. The pictures I saw online, it was pretty dry. So uh, it was a bit of a surprise, but if you were camping in a mine and it started to rain, um, yeah, it can, it can get pretty wet. So, uh, just try to, don't look down, don't look down. Oh, why did I do that? It's a little slippery there. Yep. Nope. That's not a way in. Not that I see, nope. Nope. It's a nothing. Not flat or dry either? Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, definitely not flat or dry. Okay. Okay. Be careful on the way back. <laughs> and I will too. I see. Yeah, that's the rope people go up. So, Not me. no, that's a big no for me too. Okay. Yeah. Definitely not climbing up that rope. Uh, even walking up this hill was a bit of a stretch for old Steve here. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. I don't think so, Steve. Back to the drawing board here because I really want to camp in that abandoned mine, not outside of it, but we don't have the cots. What we need is uh, cots to get us up off the ground a little bit. So tonight, I guess we'll just hunker down here. There's some kind of level spots and we can do that climb again tomorrow. Well, we did it once. We can do it twice more. I didn't want to bring them. I guess we do have room. We could have, but I wanted to keep the packs really light, which tonight's food, of course, is going to be freeze-dried stuff. Uh, when it comes to abandoned mines, this is something I want to touch on. I've heard it might have been a copper mine. I'm not sure. And they could have been using anything in there as far as uh, chemicals, uh, things like you don't want to drink the water in an abandoned mine, even if you run it through a life straw. That's my opinion. Some people might be fine drinking crystal clear. Like in a cave, that's one thing, but in a mine, this was an industrial site. There's rusted tracks in there. There's who knows what type of chemicals. So I don't want to drink the water in there. So we did have to bring water. It's not saving that much weight, I guess, but just a relaxing day of hunkering down. Our crazy neighbor has a really elaborate uh, chair. It's, it's really small, but it, uh, it's comfy when you get it set up. It's, uh, it looks a lot more comfy than mine. <laughs> but, uh, it's okay. in that tiny little bag. Well, you're in style today. You're in yeah, style today. Look at this. I got a tray to put my beer, I guess. Yeah. Quick check of my phone reveals a geocache located 11, 14 meters from here. So, let's go find it. Yeah, let's find it. Five meters, four. Okay, what's this thing supposed to look like, Steve? Usually a little container. I've never actually found one before. Three meters. Moving around on me. 
could it be? Right by where I was sitting. Nope. Is this the smartest thing we could be doing at dusk? Probably not. On a steep hill. That's okay. It's a little bit of entertainment. Oh, be careful. Yeah, it's pretty steep here. It's it's in the area. The GPS is really bad because there's this huge mountain here and all these trees kind of blocking the satellites. Um, I'm not going to make a whole point of this, but we'll poke around and see if we can find it. I think we found it. Yep. Oh, ho, ho. All right. Yeah, first geocache I've ever found. There. Well, perfect. What have we got in there? There's British Columbia collectible pins. Um, a geocache button by looks or coin, a little pendant thing. Okay. Some business cards. <laughs> uh, this guy is for Musher. I know he's pretty cool. Um, yeah, some carabiners, a guest book. So I'm going to sign the guest book. No, there's not a lot in here, so I'm just going to put in this beleaguered hunker down sticker. Perfect. I've just seen better days. Sign the guest book. Sign the guest book. Okay, so. There's quite a few. Some people have been up here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hunker down. Right on. So you better sign it too. Okay. You helped with the search. How about that? It wasn't even that hard. No, it wasn't. Um, we're not going to make it overly hard, but we're going to cover it up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well. Awesome. How about that? First, first geocache. Okay, because that's yeah. riveting entertainment. Hunting for a geocache um, instead of hanging out in the abandoned mine. Well, it's going to be a quiet night by the mine. I'm just going to get the bedrolls set up. Uh, not really doing anything exciting tonight. Just going to cook some freeze-dried meals, roll out the bedrolls, and sleep under the stars and hopefully not the rain. So, just to kind of where we're at, then we go for it full blast in the morning. You going to fall asleep in that chair? I probably could. It's pretty comfy. I'm glad I brought it. As you know, this is only the second time I've ever worn a backpack, and I didn't have a backpack. And I went to a thrift store, and they had this backpack there. The only one that they had it was only ten bucks, but it's pink. But do I care if it's pink? No. Let's just let it inflate. Just self-inflating, right? Oh yeah. Good. Okay. I'm set. Hunkered down? I'm hunkered down. Yeah, look. <laughs> like a bug in a cocoon. That's pretty cozy. It is. You got nice rocks as a backrest. Yeah, uh, okay, so you won't fall over the edge. You got nope, rocks nope, here. Nope, nope. No, that's good. I'm lead up against the rock. All right. Perfect. 
Good night, crazy neighbor. Good night, Steve. You sleep with your hat on? Yeah, it keeps the bugs out of my eyes. All right. I'm uh, down for the camp. See you guys in the morning and we'll make this a little more exciting. Good morning everybody. I was just sleeping in a little bit and some people walked by. I heard a dog bark and they walked up here with their dog to check out the mine. And I had the perfect excuse. I wanted to sleep in the mine. So, um, just about going to get uh, the gear tucked away and head on down to go get the gear we need to actually successfully sleep in that mine. Sleeping bag, uh, get a little wet? I uh, kind of rolled into the stream, or slid down into the stream with my feet. So, just the bottom couple of inches. Just going to stash the stuff that I don't need to bring down. I'm going to need my backpack to grab some stuff out of the car, um, cots, etc. But I uh, don't want to haul this down and then back up again. Uh, hauling it up once was more than enough. Um, All right, let this begin. Uh, this time I actually uh, have to see the height that I'm going down. And I don't like heights. So let's get this over with. Easier on the way down, hey? Much easier on the way down. I, I like this now. The trip down is just humane. Uh, we're not clutching our chests, drenched in sweat, pleading for mercy. Uh, this oh, is... It's like a walk in the park. So to speak. I have these small cots uh, that I left in the car because they add a lot of weight and space, but sadly we're going to need these and it started to rain and all of our stuff is sitting there uh, up at the mine uh, getting wet. Um, so keeping an eye on the uh, forecast and the radar hoping that this blows over and we get some sun to dry everything out and uh, I think it's just going to be my sleeping bag that gets wet because everything else is underneath of it. Uh, okay we've loaded up with uh, what we need and let's hit the road. Okay, you ready to do this again? That's all right. <laughs> Could be we worse. know what to expect now. Yeah. Let's do this again. Up the hill there seems to be a lot less rain. That's good. Because those rocks are going to be slippery. Oh boy. Well. Yeah. We got to be crafty here to dry this out. Oh, never be fooled by a beautiful day. Uh, if anything, it was too hot on the way down, and here we are, so, yeah. Okay, we made it for the final time. <laughs> We're not doing that again. Uh, oh, Chelsea. Yeah, I know. So I think our best hope is to get things underneath of this overhang yeah. to dry out as much as possible. And uh, hopefully the sun comes back out for us. It'll be a nice treat. That's ingenious. This one didn't get too wet.
So, spent an afternoon drying stuff off. My jacket was soaked, it's dry now. Sleeping bags, dry, dry. Uh, sleeping pad, dry. That's great. Um, and I hope the mine is dry. So we're gonna go in and see where we can camp inside of there. Well, it's just gonna be drier. Hopefully. Thank you. There's a little spot here. You keep waiting for one of these stones I step on to be a turtle or an alligator or something. Well, they shouldn't be in this area in a cave or a mine. But in here there is, yeah, there's there's some water. It's flowing. The cot should be high enough here. Or in here, yeah, this is perfectly acceptable. It uh, certainly gets, you know, still still wet down here for sure. I think that spot back there will work for us. I think so. Uh, let's step on that. Yeah, so down here, you know, this could be acceptable. I think this was the one that. No, this doesn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is where there is the pit. Oh, I think this is We're in here. It's really not level enough for the cots, is the problem. Yeah. Dryer, but not level. Yeah. Yeah, and this is all completely uh, soaked. So this, yeah, this ain't gonna work because of a couple of reasons, of which I can think of. Uh, one, being that it slopes from here, down into there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to roll into that cold bathtub. Well, yeah, and this it goes down quite far. It's part of whatever vein they were chasing up that way. And somebody, I'd heard somebody pumped it out, actually. They brought a gas powered pump in and pumped that out. Oh, you're not thinking about it, are you? Not in the least. <laughs> not in the least. Okay. Well, maybe in, in here or on the other side. This yeah. We're out. Stove in the pot. Yeah, the whole cooking kit, right in there. Got a pot, little burner, and the fuel. So I never use these things really. Uh, the freeze dried meals, because typically I'm not going up a mountain, but. The fact that I am today means uh, I'm using these peak refuel ones. I've had a few. I'm not exactly a connoisseur, but I found these to be 
definitely the most sought after and the most palatable um, of That's all of them. That's a big word. Palatable. Can you spell that? Um, oh, wow. We've got, actually there's a slug on this one here. Oh. He's, he can't get enough of this. Look at that. <laughs> it's crawled right on there. Oh, well, let's see if he'll crawl oh. off of, no, he's crawling more onto it. Okay, well, give him a, wait, okay, so that's one of your options is the, that one. And then the- With fresh protein. The beef stroganoff with, uh, with no slug. So what would you prefer? Here's your neighbor. I know you want that beef chili mac. I'm sure yeah, of it. I, I really want the beef chili mac. Yeah. But there's a slug on it. Well, it's only a, it's on the outside of the package. I'm not going to eat the slug. I'm not dumping boiling water into a package with a, a poor, helpless, defenseless slug on there. Well, can you we know? just gently release it? If that slug knew how much salt was in that package, you wouldn't be anywhere near it. <laughs> that slug's not going anywhere. <laughs> Well, yes, it's just he's moving slow. Slugs are like that. Is that his head or his tail? Uh, it, his head is looking oh, yeah, like... I see. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got those he's, little, little thingies going like this. Yeah, he's yeah. reading the instructions. Um, he's listening to us. He thinks we're going to cook him. Well, if he doesn't get off the package... Yep, yeah, three-quarter cup. Oh, look, the slug has turned around. Oh, good. He's made an exit stage left. Would you like some desiccant with your meal tonight? Not really. Okay. Like you can see if you're backpacking and actually finding your water as you go, this is perfect. He's crawling off the package, Doug. Mm -hmm. He's crawling off the package. So do you want the spork or the spoon? I don't care. Uh, I'll give you the spork. Hmm. It doesn't look obviously like the package. Mm. I don't want to bug Doug here. No. But yeah, certainly they don't look like the package, but I've had some real abominations of freeze dried meals in my time. There's uh, right here, the, all this looks like it's gonna fall off at some point. Yeah. It is so much warmer outside uh, than it is in there. It just feels like summer suddenly. Crazy neighbors heading on in there. I'm gonna sit up for a little while here and uh, then I'll crawl in. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> right on. Oh, I get the good chair then. You do. Yes, you do. <laughs> so I suppose, overall, this trip had a lot more hiking than I expected. And I have nothing against hiking. I just have a bad hip. So it was sketchy on the way back up. I was almost going to throw in the towel. But all the stuff was up here. So <laughs> what could I do? Um gonna head in here in a second uh, get a, a nighttime time-lapse set up and hunker down and then make my way back down the trail tomorrow uh, bright and early uh, there were a couple people that came by today while we were up here and uh, it was uh, great to meet with people I didn't even come up with any excuse I just said I'm sleeping in the mine <laughs> and 
uh, the second person, actually, one of them uh, did recognize me and said, are, are you Steve? And I said, well, I guess you know what I'm doing here then. Uh, but she was really cool. Shout out to Leanne. Um, it was great to meet up with you. And yeah, it's going to be a cold night. It's got to the temperature where it's probably as cold outside as it is back in the mine. So, uh, crazy neighbor. I, I heard a couple of snore sounds coming out of the cave. I hope it was snore sounds. Um, but there's only one entrance that I know of. There's another one up higher, so there shouldn't be any bears or cougars or wildlife in there. And I would probably hear blood curdling screams if that was the case. So, um, time to pack up, head in, and, um, hunker down. That's, uh, just crazy neighbors snoring and not a bear. Morning from the abandoned mine. Uh, sleep is pretty good uh, considering it's an abandoned mine and there's water dripping everywhere. But the sounds of the water echoing through the mine was relaxing enough to uh, allow me a comfortable sleep. Crazy Neighbor's already up and cracking, uh, which is good because uh, he did hit the hay earlier. So I stayed up watching around for animals or problems and now he's up earlier watching around for animals or problems kind of like a little bit of an overlap, like a fire watch or something. So that's, that's awesome. But um, I gotta get out of here because uh, it is dog walking hour and we did have somebody up yesterday very early. So um, we'll start packing this up and then leisurely get out of people's way. Not that we can't be camping in a mine. I just don't want to be a nuisance to people that want to come out here, you know, maybe uh, see this mine and you know, I'm sleeping in it. You know, it's just not fair. So get here. Looks like a beautiful day out there. It sure does. Nice. It's just what we need. I'd like to thank all the folks that uh, support this channel through comments and more. So much appreciated, everybody. So how'd you sleep? Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. I did too. There were some noises. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was outside or if it was my sleeping bag wrestling against the pad but it sounded like feet shuffling yeah i heard my uh sleeping bag rushing against the pad yeah 
And of course, being in the mine shaft, uh, you can't really, it's hard to get a sense of the direction of where sound is coming from. Yeah. We're all cleaned up and there's nothing left behind. Just the way I like it. And this is the last time we're going to have to do this horrible, horrible hill. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Hey. Yes, I remember this all too well. The rest of it is just a steep trail from this point. It's not trying to go up a staircase made of shifting stones. We're well on the way on this trail through these bear infested woods and um, I'll use my last few percent of battery on the camera here to thank you all for watching and uh, please ask for uh, your subscription if you like this type of thing. And I wait till the end to ask that so you're sure of what you're getting. And there's some interesting facts on that mine. That is a mine that was uh, built in 1904 over two years by uh, six men. So that was 12 man years of labor and they were not using any major explosives. There's no drill marks in there. Further down the hill there is the remnants of an old cabin which I could not access due to my lack of hiking aptitude and uh, an old minecart, which could not also be accessed for those reasons. However, if anybody is better at hiking than me and wants a challenge, uh, there's some stuff to see out here. And uh, it should be figured out pretty quickly where this is. Um, I normally don't say right in the video where I am, and today is no exception. So thank you all. We will see you on the next one.